Hola. Hola. Welcome to Lightspeed Spanish. Uh, this is podcast number 39 for absolute beginners. And today we're talking about the verbs that have the prefix. Des. des. Yeah, not des. Okay, like des O'Connor, something like that. Des. Des. Okay, des. Okay, Cynthia, ¿qué tal? Eh, fenomenal. ¿Sí? Sí. <laughs> Tuviste que pensar un poco, ¿no? No. No. Rápido, fenomenal. Fenomenal. Me alegro. ¿Y qué te cuentas, Gordon? Pues nada, aquí haciendo podcast contigo eh, y estamos en España. Sí. Y la vida es muy bonita. Tú, cuando hablas, hablas con más acento de Madrid que alguien de Madrid. <risa> bueno. Aquí, haciendo podcast contigo. <risa> Sí, es, esa, es la, esa es la melodía de, de, de un como... madrileño, sí. Mm. Vale. vale, so we're talking about the verbs with the prefix. Des. Des. des First time. of all, before we start, Cynthia, what does des really mean? What is it indicating on a verb? Um, in English, it would be like on something. On, yeah. Typically on. Yeah, it's like the undoing of the verb, the isn't uns, it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've got do and then on do. Okay. So we would have this. There are others, of course, like in English, but th this time we're talking about this. Yeah, sometimes we'll say in, no? In English, rather than un. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, like incapable. Incapable, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, give us your first example. So, we have a few examples. First one, of course, is deshacer. Deshacer. Ah, so hacer is to do, to make. Yes. Deshacer, undo, unmake. Unmake? Unmake. I don't think we can say unmake. it. Can we say unmake? Can you unmake that? I don't know. No. no. You're the English one. Yeah. Yeah, I undo. Trust your no, knowledge. no. We, we would make something or we would have to undo it, I think. Unmake it? Mm, I don't know. So Maybe. If, if somebody's made the bed and I want to say uh, unmake it. Can you Because I want to wash the sheets. Right. Ah, you see, make the, right, make the bed, right, can you, no, I would have to say, can you... Take it apart, no, no, not take it undo apart. The, undo the, undo the <laughs> bed. If I said, can you undo the bed, I'd be wanting to take a screwdriver and actually take it to pieces. So I would have to, you can you take the sheets off the bed? <laughs> That's what we would say, can you take the sheets you off the bed? You can't unmake things. But in Spanish you can deshacer la Des, cama. Deshacer. Oh, okay. Hacer la cama y deshacer la cama. Okay. Okay. Vale. Eh, aparecer, to appear. To appear. Desaparecer. Disappear. To disappear. No, on appear. To, no, on appear. Disappear. Disappear. Yeah. So you've got the. That's, it's, it's our very, version of. Very similar, eh? This. Yeah. That verb's very similar in, in, in English yes. to, to Spanish. So disappear. So how would you say um, the man um, disappeared from view? El hombre desapareció. De la vista. De la vista. Mm. No, hasta la vista. No, no, hasta no. la vista. <laughs> ok. Right. Vale. Mm -hmm. Colocar. Descolocar. So, colocar is to... Could be to tidy up or to put right or... To put kind of... It's almost to put in order, isn't it? Yes. To, yeah. Um, in descolocar. Descolocar. It would be to... On what? To... Um, on put in order. <laughs> on put in order, yeah. To uh, uh, like to um, descolocar. Mess up. Es, yes, yes. To, to mess, mess up. up. Descolocar. Yeah. To mm -hmm. mess something up. Yeah. Mentir. Is to lie. Desmentir. To not unlie. To unlie. If somebody tells a lie, um, like for example, somebody lies about you, mm -hmm. and then you go and say, no, that's not true. And this is the truth. That's desmentir somebody. Ah, okay. Oh, I didn't know that verb. Right. So that would be. How would we say that? So to, it, somebody told a lie, and I have to go and put it right. I'm gonna have to put things straight. I'm gonna have to put. Yeah, I have to go and. I'm put, sure this put the information verb. straight. Let's look it up. You go. You continue. I'm gonna look up. Maybe I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Is there a way of saying to um, negate the lie to? Um, Negate uh, the lie. Yeah. <laughs> deny. 
but that would be that would be different. That wouldn't be Desmond Dear. Let's have a look, and it says deny, deny. or squash. Squash uh, that rumor. Uh, when we talk about squelch. a rumor, I'm gonna have to squelch, squelch. Con okay. Yeah, to belie. Oh, belie. Or to refute. Mm, refute. To refute. Refute would be a good word as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Vale. So desmentir. That's there desmentir. you are. I've learned a new word. I, I'm not sure when I'm gonna have the opportunity to use that verb. No, because I always tell the truth, so you can't. Uh, move on. <laughs> Ilusionarse. Uh, Illusionarse, so to build your hopes up. Yeah, uh, to, to get excited to get about excited. something, yeah. Um, desilusionarse, to be disappointed. To be or, disappointed, or to, or to, to become to, disappointed, I suppose. Yes, yeah. to become disappointed. Yeah, and that, that has, word has a spin-off, the, the um, adjective ilusionado, desilusionado. Desilusionado, yeah? mm -hmm, which so is the adjective. Excited, disappointed. Montar, desmontar. Again, montar, to put up, set up, desmontar, to dismantle. You would use this verb when, I mean, this is, I am an expert at montar cosas now because we're here and we go to Ikea every two and a half days to buy more yes. stuff. Is that right, Cynthia? And so I, any, anything where you have to put something together to build it up, montar. Or when you go on a horse, montar, desmontar. Sí. Montar, ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? A caballo, ¿no? montar a caballo, ¿no? Montar a caballo, desmontar del caballo. Dismount. Dismount, there you are. So that, but that would be to mount a horse. Mount yeah. a horse? Can you say that? <laughs> that sounds yes. really bad. Yes, if you can. Okay, okay. Right. so you, you mount, you, you get uh, mounted. I don't know, I don't know. I don't <laughs> you get mounted. I know you dismount. You just be mounted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, desatar. Atar. Okay, to tie. tie. Desatar. Untie. Untie. Okay. Descartar. To discard. Another one with this. Yeah. Also, descar descartar could also be if you're playing cards. What would, what's the verb? And to throw your hand down. No. Descartar is, I don't know, if you've got uh, four of the same, then you don't play with them anymore. You have to get rid of them. Ah, uh, um, well, I don't know the official, but you would have to. But, don't worry about it. Descartar. Descartar. Is Never mind. to. I'm going to have to. You would put them down. You would put them down, wouldn't you? Your cards. Um, Descartar is to dismiss, reject, discard. Okay. Discard. Yeah. Or discard with cards. Or there throw away. Throw away. Throw away. You know what's what's right. interesting about that that verb, Cynthia, is we've got descartar, but have we got cartar? No. Cartar. No. No. So that's another one of the list. Because we've got some ones that have the this. Um, for example, deslizar. To slide, no? Yeah. But we don't have lizar. But that just means to slide. It doesn't mean on something. Okay. And this is where we've got to be careful because not every word that starts with this is an un. Like in English, to describe. It doesn't mean not cry. Exactly, yeah. Describir. Describir. We have the same describir to describe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, descubrir. This could be both. Because cubrir could be to cover. So if I say uncover that, descubre. Mm -hmm. um, or to discover something. He descubierto una página web nueva. Mm. That's, a, that's an interesting verb. We were talking about this before because if you think about the word the word to discover discover okay discover it you are uncovering something to discover something you've got to uncover haven't you a mystery or whatever we discovered something yeah so it has that feel of uncovering something even though we said discover yeah. yes time's up time's up yes time's okay. up and we, we haven't finished the list that's as okay usual. Uh, everything that we've we're covering here will be in the the uh, help sheets and so much more and lots and lots of ways of practicing and getting these um, into your kind of here and the other mind. Uh, prefixes that we have for un and this yeah because it's not just mm. this yeah. yes okay muy bien, muy bien. Pues vale. muchas gracias Cindy por la información a ti oh ya tiempo la hora pues hasta luego chicos nos vamos y nos vemos
Adiós. Adiós.